St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so let's draw a four-leaf clover, and I'll show you how to blend colored pencils. It's basically four kind of heart shapes. We're not going to connect the bottom yet. One, two, three, four. All right, and then right here, we're going to connect all of our leaves. So there's our basic shape of our clover. We'll draw our stem over here like this. So the trick to blending colored pencils is layering. We're going to start with our lightest layer with a really light color. And you want to use tiny, tiny little circles. That'll create the most, the smoothest texture with these small tiny little circles. We're just going to do one little leaf at a time. So there's our first layer. It's very light. And we're going to go to our next layer. And using these small little circles, we're going to add our second layer. We're going to do it all over the entire leaf. Now we've got we've got two layers of pencil on our leaf. And every time you add another layer, it's going to get a little bit smoother as it washes out all of the grain of the paper and the, the tooth of the paper is filled with the wax of your, of your colored pencils. Make sure you have a nice sharp pencil. We'll draw this line right here to separate it. We're going to use these small, tiny little circles to blend it. It's going to be darker and harder pressure down here where we want it to be darker we push harder on the pencil in these tiny little circles and then lighter and lighter as we get closer to the outside and this is our third layer now we're going to jump to a darker pencil Make sure it's nice and sharp. And add another layer on top. With these small, tiny little circles. That's going to be my next layer. And the dark blue. And those are tiny little circles. Add another layer. Lighter and lighter. And then come out towards the end of the leaf, towards the edge of the leaf. That peacock green. <laughs> now I'm going to add another layer. This one's a really bright green, a very saturated green. So I'm going to add a little bit more here because that last one was a little bit dull. But anyway, same, same thing. More pressure down where you want it darker towards the center, and lighter and lighter towards the outside. You're going to grab your white pencil. This is a trick. This is key to, to it all. And then you're going to, I want you to watch what happens when we do these tiny little circles over all of these layers of pencils that we put down. It takes a little while and you have to have a little patience, but this is, uh, this is how you blend colored pencils. Sometimes your white will dull it out a little bit, so you, you may want to go back over it a little bit. Uh, but your white should blend it all together real nice and smooth, like that. Tiny little circles and that will start to blend it together. A white pencil is always the shortest because it's the pencil I use the most. I've got tons of these whites. I've got a ton of white and a ton of black. All right, let's do the same thing. Let's blend this one over here, our lightest colors. As I work my way out, that'll blend it from dark to white with this, with this layer. Tiny circles. 
each layer we add makes it just a little bit smoother and makes those colors, each color, blend together a little bit more with each layer. It'll almost look like paint until you get really, really close. Everybody has their own way of doing it, but I like to start with the lightest layer first and work my way up uh, a little bit darker uh, each layer. So uh, start with a light layer, then go a little bit, a little bit darker with each layer. To get a really smooth texture, it's going to take many layers, six, eight, sometimes maybe even ten layers of pencil. But at the end, you want to use your lightest pencil, whether it's a white or a really light yellow, but whatever your lightest color is, you use that to blend it all together for the final top layer. But nothing beats practice. You really need to fill your pencil on the paper and try it for yourself and do a little trial and error. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.